Hey, my name is Michael Gardner, founder of dfymeetings.com and b2boutbound.io. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I took my agency alone to $40,000 a month plus and five things that helped me grow. And I think if you nail these concepts down, whether you're at the beginning stages of your agency or you're currently scaling, that it's gonna help you out a lot. So let's go ahead and get into it. Drop it. Number one, and this is so underrated, is an offer people actually want with minimal competition. I see a lot of people go for the same courses, they have the same website, the same offer, the same pricing, no real reason to choose them over better alternatives, and then they struggle to get clients, uh, and the clients they do get, you know, they have lots of options to go with other agencies, so they have a hard time retaining them. So having an offer people really do want, and with relatively minimal competition, has been quite big for my success. Um, I've definitely struggled a lot more in the past with other offers than I do now to get clients, like getting clients from my main agency, dfymeetings.com. Um, for people new to the channel, I run a cold email agency where I book meetings for B2B businesses. Uh, it's been pretty easy. Our outreach does well, organic content does well, referrals do well, and we even get organic leads from SEO. So having that offer where there's not too many competitors has been really key for just allowing work to have a bigger impact. Content does better, outreach is better, sales is better. It just overall makes life a lot easier. Next is standardization. For the most part, we have one service. We do fully managed cold email campaigns. We set up your tech, uh, we build your lead lists, we write your emails, we send your emails, we appointments set people to the calendar. We do one thing and we do it really well. Because I do one thing, that means I can have the same onboarding for all my clients. I can have the same employees do the same tasks for all my clients. I can have the same systems for all my clients, the same automations, where if I was running five different services, I would need different automations, different systems, different employees. It would just get really messy. Having just one thing I do, doing it really well, constantly improving has been massive, uh, just allowing for growth without getting stuck and having things become way too complex. Next is aggressive outreach paired with content. So we are pretty aggressive outreach. We do outreach on pretty much every social media platform um, as well as email, and that's paired with content. I post relatively regularly on almost every social platform, and that combined with outreach, combined with a good sales process of CRM, just does really well. Um, in the past, I've had a lot of agencies where I didn't have standardization, which meant that my time always got sucked in fulfillment, and I lost time to do outreach, which led me to do lousy subpar outreach, where with a standardized service where I'm outside of fulfillment, I can really get aggressive on outreach and that has been super helpful. Next is separation between sales and fulfillment. And if you're just starting out, you either need a business partner to do this or you need to wait until you can hire somebody. I have an amazing COO of my company who handles fulfillment. His name is Felipe. Some of you watching the channel might know him. Um, we have a very very good separation between fulfillment and sales because if fulfillment is always thinking about where the next client's coming from or if sales is always thinking about client satisfaction and retention you just can't do your best work in one area i handle networking sales big ideas content he handles fulfillment and retention and us having that really good separation where we trust each other to do our jobs well and they are done well has really allowed mental energy, clarity, aggression, time well spent on us both doing our core role. Now, the last thing, which is most important when you're scaling is proactively fixing holes. Whenever we have an issue of processes, with people, with clients, we immediately look at how can we fix that for future clients. If the same client has one issue, most likely, maybe not the next client, but two, three clients down the road, that same issue is gonna come up. So whenever we have an issue, let's say of onboarding, we're gonna fix it. Like we're just gonna figure out what happened and we're gonna fix it. Random example, we have an onboarding video. Someone pays us to go for onboarding, people were skipping it. So how do we fix it? We made it so you don't get the button to go to the next page unless you watch the video. Small thing, but compounded through over 100 clients you've onboarded, that really does matter. Um, you know, if this could be having automated reminders for your team or having a certain 
extra slide in your onboarding presentation. You know, we look for what are the holes, how can we fix them? That way they don't keep coming up. Because when you have a lot of clients, in our case around 50, um, you know, having one problem per month per client times 50 is a lot of problems. And even if those problems are little, it takes a lot of time. So we're always looking at how can we fix things for good so that it doesn't happen in the future. Now, I know this is a short one, um, but I wanted to go ahead and make this video as it's something that I think would be quite helpful for myself if I was starting out and I could watch it. So look at these five things, consider which ones you can do. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And if you're looking for someone to run your outbound campaigns, check out dfymeetings.com, link in the bio.